Welcome to the Authority Government Information Database Overview. The Authority must deal with many and varied entities involved with the anomalous. For the most part, these are fringe groups, much like the Authority themselves. However, some entities operate within the framework of the non-anomalous world, as agencies for nations and international organizations. Dealing with the population control cult of Malthus is very different from negotiating with the legitimate representatives of China, whether hostile or cooperative. The power dynamics and threats of the latter may pose as radically different. Such groups are registered within the Authority Global Information Database, colloquially known as the Agencies of Interest. The database contains entries on these groups as well as government programs related to the anomalous. Threat Code Affiliations Proxy The agency is under direct control by the Authority. Allied The agency is consistently cooperative with and or helpful to the Authority. Neutral The agency has little or no affiliation with the Authority. Ambiguous The agency displays variant or contradictory affiliation with the Authority. Hostile The agency is motivated to harm or destroy humanity and or the Authority. Unknown the agency has unknown motives in relation to the Authority. Attributes Authority aware The agency is aware of the existence of the Authority. Veiled The agency is unaware of the existence of the Anomalous. Unveiled The agency is aware of the existence of the Anomalous. Seeker The agency actively collects anomalies. Sculptor The agency is capable of creating anomalies. Multinational the agency spans multiple nations. National. The agency exists within a single nation. People's Committee for the Acquisition of Anomalous Objects, China. Ambiguous. Authority Aware. Unveiled. Seeker. National. Overview. A primary influence in the Asian Pacific, the PCAAO is built with a mix of leading Chinese scientists and battalions supplied by the People's Liberation Army. Created in the wake of the Communist victory in the Chinese Civil War, the PCAAO rose to prominence after the Korean War and further grew in power throughout the years. The PCAAO is a valuable ally and formidable opponent. The rise of China parallels the PCAAO's expanding influence across Asia and Africa, bringing that organization to the global anomalous community. And yet, the PCAAO is just as likely to cooperate with the ASF in Nigeria as it is to assault a dig team in Mongolia. It has carried out friendly and hostile acts in the same hour. The PCAAO of the 21st century is seemingly torn between opposite impulses. The international agency that works for the good of mankind versus the ruthless paramilitaries that protect China and her people from the anomalous at any cost, often at others' expense. Authority personnel are warned to approach the PCAAO with significant caution. It is often difficult to predict whether it will act in cooperation or violent self-interest. Monarch Security United Kingdom Allied Authority Aware Unveiled Seeker Sculptor Multinational Overview Monarch Security, commonly referred to as Military Intelligence Section 13 or MI-13 was formed after the conclusion of a decade-long government investigation. It was concluded that paranatural it was concluded that paranatural occurrences throughout the British Empire posed a significant threat towards the British government and Crown. As a result, Downing Street established a special department under the Directorate of Military Intelligence, designated as MI-13. To face the precedent threat against the occurrences, they were tasked with the security and protection of Great Britain and British overseas territories of all kind. Monarch security is overseen by a parliamentary committee based at Westminster, named the Defense Anomalies and Security Select Committee. However, the rest of the organization's structure and personnel management remains ambiguous, though it is clear that the organization retains much influence and funding than any other intelligence service body within the British government. United Nations Anomalous Activities Committee Ambiguous Authority Aware Unveiled Seeker Multinational Overview The United Nations Anomalous Activities Committee UNAAC, is an international regulatory body with the support of major national governments. 
while officially as a separate independent organization. The UNAAC is part of the United Nations system, with its own charter and structure in comparison to that of the International Monetary Fund IMF. Established under the International Anomalous Accords, after the United Nations Anomalous Peace Conference in 1945 directs the UNAAC to restrict and enforce the regulations and actions of all anomalous activity within the international scale. However, actionable enforcement of the Accords is often weak, and mostly left to the collective pressure of the World Security Council, consisting of members from the United Nations during particularly outrageous rule violations such as the unauthorized practice of anomalous activities. In practice, the UNAAC is a negotiations table where the authority carries the most weight, often needing the support of other nations to carry out its interest. Relatively impotent by itself, the UNAAC is valuable as a forum to redress grievances and smooth competition from interests between other nations in an established, diplomatic environment. Secretly, there are members within the UNAAC that push their own ideas and agendas to strengthen their geopolitical power. The Seventh PAC is one of these ambiguous, albeit unofficial, PACs within the World Security Council that tries to push the establishment of a separate entity that would overrule WSC decisions, often leading to disruption within international affairs. Armed Forces Operations Briefing UNISAAF, ISA. In the field, UNAAC maintains a small, low thousands armed force the United Nations International Security Anomalous Assistance Force UNISAAF, commonly referred to as the ISA. Though powerless to physically enforce the accords on UNAAC members, the ISA serves a valuable and often overlooked role in the forgotten, miserable corners of the globe. Operating openly in the guise of regular UN peacekeepers, the ISA suppresses anomalous trafficking and nasty operations by Malthus and others in conflict-prone regions. Notably, these operations often occur in remote areas where authority presence is light or non-existent. Often, ISA peacekeepers are the only forces capable of fighting anomalous experiments, massacres, or worse on remote and vulnerable populations. Authority agents are expected to liaise with UNAAC peacekeepers when applicable, and the ASF have provided support for UNAAC operations on certain desperate occasions. Dangerous anomalies that fall into UNAAC's hands during these operations are sent to the Authority due to our resources, expertise, and clout. Project Blue Book Ambiguous Authority Aware Unveiled Seeker Sculptor Multinational Overview Project Blue Book is a large-scale multinational government agency formed by the UN Security Council to resist against incursion and assault by non-human entities and research technologies for use in the defense of humanity. Project Blue Book primarily operates in space, however, many facilities can be found on Earth. Not much is known about Blue Book save for the fact that Project Blue Book is divided into the Xeno Defense Bureau XDB, Scientific Research Bureau SRB, and the Engineering and Manufacturing Bureau EMB. The RPC maintains a tenuous relation with Blue Book depending on the circumstances. They could either be at odds or working together. Blue Book as an entity receives a great deal of support by the United Nations, who feel that Blue Book is quote, a more loyal alternative to dealing through the UNAAC. Unquote. Most nations support Blue Book in some way or other, whether it's allocating funds, providing troops, or hosting bases. Bundes Occult Abteilung Bosuka FOA Neutral Authority Aware Unveiled National Seeker Overview The Bundes Occult Abteilung, Federal Occult Agency, frequently shortened to Bosuka or FOA, is a governmental department of the Federal Republic of Germany, charged with the investigation, containment, and elimination of anomalous objects, persons, entities, and organizations that threaten the German nation and its people. The FOA answers directly to the German Chancellor, and has afforded substantial independence in its operations, with the natural exception of consistent UNAAC oversight.
The FOA traces a direct descent from several semi-organized groups of witch hunters operating in the central and northeastern Holy Roman Empire during the 15th and 16th century, many of which regularly cooperated with or worked against agents of the Papal Obturitus and Pertus. However, these groups were never formalized or actively recognized by any of the German princely states, and their powers and influence declined over the course of the 17th and 18th centuries. During the reign of Frederick the Great, several unsuccessful attempts were made to organize groups of experienced witch-hunters to operate alongside the Prussian army, which were foiled by intense sectarianism and internal conflicts within the witch-hunting groups themselves. Nonetheless, small groups of such experts would continue to be covertly employed by the various monarchies of Germany on an ad hoc basis for the next century. The FOA, under the original title Reich Occult of Tablung, Imperial Occult Agency was formally founded in 1878 by order of Kaiser Wilhelm I and remained Germany's official government-sanctioned anti-anomaly organization until the end of the First World War. The heavily Marxist and conservative FOA broke ties with the newly founded Weimar government, operating under the auspices of several different military backup Freikorps. Through 1919-1924, the FOA was involved in heavy fighting with the Communist forces in Germany, who also sought to acquire the country's remaining anomalous resources. These conflicts led to the growth of an increasingly radical movement within the FOA, who sought the restoration of the German monarchy. A secret clause of the Dawes Plan integrated the FOA with the German branch of the Authority in 1924. Many FOA radicals aligned closely with the goals of the German National Socialist Workers' Party and in 1934 supported the German branch of the Authority in its bid for independence. This hardline splinter would eventually form the founding basis for GARD-DAFA, the NSDAP Anti-Anomaly Agency. FOA moderates remained semi-integrated with Authority branches in Switzerland and Sweden. The organization was restored using its present name under the auspices of the UNAAC and the West German government in 1949. This concludes the RPC Authority Government Agencies of Interest Orientation. You are dismissed.